traffic new on live at daybreak Milwaukee to Chicago in just 15 minutes. It's a high speed rail proposal unlike one we've ever really truly discussed. Too big, too difficult and way too expensive are the traditional barriers to taking that conversation any further. This morning, I'm going to introduce you to a local man on a mission to change all that. Just about 81 miles right into Union Station. William Hume no longer works in the civil engineering field as he did for decades. Watching this freight train crawl into Milwaukee, Hume shows he has not yet retired from dreaming. My design for high speed rail <clears throat> would be running at speeds of 220, 230 miles an hour, and you would be in Chicago in 15 minutes. This is not running Amtrak trains just a little bit faster. Hume imagines a European style elevated train over existing rail lines straight into the Windy City. They're fantastic graphic, CAD graphics. Hume asked UWM engineering student Rosalba Huerta to bring his sketches and ideas to life. These are the precast concrete bases that will support this deck. Two tracks, solar powered electric trains. Huerta says it's entirely possible. Engineering is where science meets science fiction. It's kind of like dreaming in a good sense because you need to dream to be able to innovate and you're kind of visualizing, okay, what, what would I want this to be? The fastest passenger trip to Chicago on these rails right now is nearly an hour and a half. Hume says his plan to cut that to just minutes would take seven to eight years from start to finish and billions of dollars. Well, this is not something that you see as being built with a majority of government funds. Not really. This would be a certain percentage private, a certain per percentage federal, no state money involved from Wisconsin or Illinois. Where's the rest of the money come from? Okay. The money comes from private investors. Hume says those private investors are out there looking for a chance to transform transportation. We need to make America fast again. We got to feel the need for speed. The so-called high-speed rail already operating on the East Coast here in the U.S. tops out at speeds of 150 miles an hour. Hume calls getting these renderings done stage one of his plan, and he's already working on stage two, which he says is lining up support. So his idea, he said, well, I said, we have high-speed rail here. He said, no, we don't have high-speed rail. High-speed rail's got to be 180-plus miles an hour. We don't have anything that comes close to touching that. On the surface, it sounds good getting to sounds Chicago all good, in 15 right. minutes. That part sounds great, doesn't it? <laughs>